Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the nodal analysis by matrix method containing the three nodes. The question is find the node voltage for the network shown below. For the given network we need to find the node voltages. Now refer the network. So there are three current sources available. See the current direction. By inspecting this network, we can easily identify, we can take, we assume that this is the node 1. Node is nothing but junction point. The current sources and resistors are connected together. It's called a node. So, we'll take this is the node 1. The voltage at node 1 is V1. We'll take this is the second node, node 2. The voltage at node 2 is V2. This is node 3. The voltage at node 3 is V3. We have one more node, reference node, the fourth node, but the potential at the reference node is zero. It's a return path. Now see the current direction of this 4 ohm, 4 ampere. It is going towards the node 1. That is away from the node 3 and going towards the node 1. Similarly, this 3 ampere away from the node 1 and going towards the node 2. This 4 ampere away from the second node and going towards the third node. So by applying the Kirchhoff's law, we can frame the matrix. From the matrix, we can able to find the node voltage V1, V2 and V3. How will you frame the matrix by using this? I equal to V divided by R. So we need to frame the current matrix, voltage matrix. Resistant matter, resistant 1 by R because I equal to V divided by R, 1 by R. So this is nothing but a matrix, just this is a current matrix, I1, I2, I3. Current at node 1, node 2, node 3. Similarly, voltage at nodes V1, V2 and V3. The resistant matrix is 1 divided by R11, 1, 1, 1 divided by R12, 1, 1 divided by R13 like that. We need to frame this matrix. First, we will consider the resistance matrix. What is R11 1 divided by R11? R11 is nothing but the resistors connected at the node 1. What are the resistors connected at node 1? We need to identify. That is R11. So, at the node 1, this 1 ohm is connected and this 2.5 ohm is connected. Two resistors are connected at node 1. That is nothing but R11. Now, we need to add this. 1 divided by 2.5 plus 1 divided by 1. So, R11 is nothing but resistors connected at the node 1. That is this 1 ohm and 2.5 ohm is connected. So, here we need to write 1 divided by R11. So, that 1 divided by 2.5 plus 1 divided by 1. What is R12? The resistor connected between node 1 and node 2. See this, this is node 1, this is node 2. So, this 1 ohm is connected between node 1, 1, node 2. Commonly available between node 1 and 1, 2. So, this is nothing but R12. So, 1 divided by 1. Other than diagonal, other, other elements we need to put negative sign. It's a general rule. Only diagonals are positive, all other negative, other elements are negative. R13. The resistor connected between one node 1 and node 3. So, this is node 1, this is node 3. Any resistor is connected, it is not connected. Resistor not connected between 1 and 3. So, it is 0. There is no connection between this node 1 and node 3. So, it is 0. Similarly, R21 connected between second node and first node. Second node and first node. Same thing, this 1 ohm. This 1 ohm is connected between second node and first node. So, minus 1 by 1. R22. What is R22? The resistor connected at the second node. What are the resistor connected at the second node? This 1 ohm, this 4 ohm and this 3 ohm, this 2 ohm. Three resistors are connected at node, node, second node. That is called R22. We need to add all these three. So, this 1 ohm is connected, 4 ohm is connected and 2 ohm is connected. So, 1 by 1 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. So, this is nothing but R22. R22 means the resistors connected, sum of the resistor connected at second node. R23, 
what is R23 connected between second node and third node? Second node and third node, the, this 2 ohm is connected between second node and third node. So, minus 1 by 2, already I have this negative, other than diagonal negative. So, 2, 3 means connected between second node and third node. So, this 2 ohm is connected between second and third node. So, minus 1 by 2. Then R31 connected between third node and first node. Between third and first node, then resistors are not connected. No resistors are available. So, it is 0. R32, same thing, connected between third node and second node. This 2 ohm. So, R23 and R32 are same. Connected between second node and third node or third node to second node, same. This 2 ohm. So, minus 1 by 2. Then finally, R33. What is R33? The resistors connected at the third node. What are the resistors connected at the third node? This 2 ohm and 5 ohm. These two resistors are connected at third ohm. So, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5. Right, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5. Now, we framed the resistant matrix. So, R11 means the resistors connected at the node 1. R22 means resistor connected at the second node. R33 means resistor connected at the third node. 12 R21 means connected between first node and second node. Like that we need to frame. Now, we will simplify this the resistant matrix. So, 1 divided by 2.5 plus 1 by 1 will become 1.4. Then minus 1, 0, minus 1. This value is 1.75. This minus 1 by 2 means minus 0.5. Then 0. Minus 1 by 2 means minus 0.5. Sum of these two is 0 0.7. V1, V2, V3. Now we need to identify this current. What is the current I1, I2, I3? What is I1? The current at the node 1. So this 4 ohm is coming towards the node 1. So it is plus 4. But 3 ohm is going away from the node. So minus 3. 4 minus 3. 4 is going, coming towards the node 1. But 3 ohm, 3 ampere is going away from the node. So 4 minus 3. Right? This 4 ohm is coming in. But 3 ohm is going out. So 4 minus 3. At the node 2, this 3 ampere is coming towards. But this 4 ampere is going away. So 3 minus 4. Right, 3 ampere is coming towards so plus 3, 4 is 4 ampere is going away, so minus 4. At the third node, this 4 ampere is coming inside, but another 4 ampere is going outside, so 4 minus 4. Right, so based on the current direction, we can write so 4 minus 3, 4 minus 3 is 1, 3 minus 4 is minus 1, 4 minus 4, 0. Now, framed the equations. Now, we framed the matrix. This is the current matrix, voltage matrix and this is the resistant matrix. Now, by we can find the del value. Three, four values are available. Del, del 1, del 2, del 3. From that, we can find V1, V2 and V3. So, this resistant matrix is nothing but the del. It termed as del. If you replace the first column with the current is del 1. Replace the second column with current matrix is del 2. Replace the third column with current matrix is del 3. Now we will go for the finding the delta value. Now consider this is the delta. This is a resistant matrix. It is termed as delta. By finding the determinant, we can find this delta value. How will you find the determinant? First we take the first element 1.4. Then what we need to do, we need to multiply these two. 1.7 into 0 0.7 minus minus 0 0.5 into minus 0 0.5. You know already, you know how to find the determinant. So, you can easily find that. So, 1.4 into, you have to multiply these two values minus these two values. We will go into second element, we are normally will put negative. But already here negative is there, so it become positive. So, what will happen here? Plus 1. We have to multiply these two. Minus 1 into 0 0.7. Minus, minus 0.5 into 0. So, it becomes 0. The third element is automatically 0. Right? First, you have to take this element. You have to multiply these two minus these two. 
take the second element while taking second element we need to put negative then you have to multiply these two element minus these two element I will go for simplification so 1.4 so 1.75 into 0.7 is 1.225 minus 0.5 into 0.5 is 0.25 this negative is there these two negative become positive but another negative is available plus 1 into minus 1 into 0.7 means 0.7 so 1.4 into these two these two value by subtracting these two 0.975 so 1 into minus 0.7 is minus 0.7 so multiplying these two 1.365 minus 0.7 so by subtracting this what we got 0.665 the delta value is 0.665 now we will go to the delta 1 by replacing the first column with the current matrix we will get the delta 1 so the delta 1 so first column is replaced 1 minus 1 0 is nothing but the current matrix remaining are as it is now we will go to the determine we determine this 1 into you have to multiply these two 1.7 into 0.7 minus multiply these two minus 0.5 into minus 0.5 then second term minus 1 already we will normally will put negative here already one negative so it become plus then you have to multiply these two minus 1 into 0.7 minus these two these two already zero is there so automatically it becomes zero the third element also zero now we'll go for simplification one into 1.75 into 0.7 is 1.225 minus minus 0.5 into minus 0.5 is minus plus 2.5 but already one minus is there so minus 0.25 so here minus 1 into 0.7 is minus 0.7 so 1.225 minus 0.25 is 0.975 minus this 0.7 so the final value is 0.275 delta 1 this is not delta 2 so delta 1 is 0.275 now we calculated the delta 1 value now we will go to the delta 2 Now, if I go to the delta 2, delta 2 means the second column is replaced by the current matrix. Right. Now, 1.4 into minus 1 into 0.7 minus 0.5 into 0, so that becomes 0. The second time normally we will put minus 1, minus. Then 1 into 0 0.7, minus 1 into 0 0.7 minus these two value while multiplying it 0. The third element automatically 0. So 1.4 into minus 1 into 0.7 is minus 0.7 minus 1 here also minus 0.7 so 1.4 into minus 0.7 is minus 0.98 so minus 1 into minus 0.7 is plus 0.7 so by adding these two what we got minus 0.28 so the delta 2 value we got negative minus 0.28 now we'll go to the delta 3 delta 3 means the third column is replaced by current matrix so 1.4 into 1.75 into 0 minus minus 1 into minus 0.5 then plus 1 here negative is there so it become plus 1 but both are 0 minus 1 into 0 0 this minus 1 into 0 also 0 then third element 1 minus 1 into minus 0.5 this become 0 so 1.4 this time is 0 minus 1 into minus 0.5 is 0.5 but one negative already there so minus 0.5 this time is 0 minus 1 into minus 0.5 is plus 0.5 so 1.4 this minus 0.5 1.4 into minus 0.5 is minus 0.7 plus 0.5 so it is minus 0.2 delta 3 also we got negative minus 0.2 from this delta delta 1 delta 2 and delta 3 value we can find v1 v2 and v3 so v1 is nothing but delta 1 by delta 0.275 divided by 0.665 that is 0.4135 voltage v2 is delta 2 divided by delta 
minus 0.28 divided by 0.665 that is minus 0.421 voltage. V3 is delta 3 by delta minus 0.2 divided by 0.665 that is equal to minus 0.3008 voltage. So we calculated V1, V2, V3 node voltages are calculated. The same problem solved by equation method the link is available in the description box the viewers can see the problem solved by equation method. Thank you.